Won't you meet me at the fair? My Potter's Journal for August 2023. We are looking for inspiration here at the Hookstown Fair. Let's see what's going on in the studio today. I will start you off here with my point of view at a pot just thrown at the Potter's Wheel in the early stages of Leather Hard. And I did some slip trailing on there, starting with the very edge, a trail of black slip and then the wavy white on a brushed on white so the white on white will have two different grades of it and then the little dots in a dot so white on black and a white on white and a black center eye and in the center okay making the transition in this large okay pl platter bowl plate charger we've got some sponge wear sponging underneath okay the same effects with the trailing and I'm starting you off at this point because that is just a bit of decoration on the plate that the highlights of this plate and what will make it and define it will be the scrofito so for now, we're going to let it dry out just a little bit. I like to catch the scurfito when it's in the late forms of leather hard. For now, we will put the trailers aside and get into the process. Uh, you've got it. This is a commemorative plate for the Hookstown Fair. And that's the part we will use, the name. That's where our starting point. Um, and I'm just penciling it right on here. I think a lot of people for the Scrofito would take a piece of tracing paper or other piece of paper and draw it on there and maybe graphite the back and transfer it few through. I've even seen little holes poked through and then it dusted through. But um, yeah, by just drawing it on here, if you don't get it exactly right, you can change it when you do the scratch through part. And this is a commemorative plate. Okay, for a um, what once upon a time was probably a county like fair. Um, although it's named after the small town, if that's what you can call Hookstown, <laughs> um, where it's located. And here's the sketches in my Potter's Journal from 2017. Um, it looks like that time I was putting handles on it, 2018, but it disappeared from my journal until this year, finally, again. Okay, 2022. Okay, and the deadline's coming up, so hopefully we can get this actualized before the deadline. After five years of dreading this project, putting it off, this is really not going that bad at all. Um, this is actually just using the um, the tool as if you're doing calligraphy not that I'm someone who's done a lot of calligraphy or has knowledge of um, rules and regulations but the um, old Pennsylvania scrofito wear plates were not made and decorated by highly skilled draftsmen. They were made by people who just weren't who just weren't afraid to just do it. And where does our inspiration come? What part do we jump into next? Other. 
again at the Green Saturn with a West Virginia license plate parked across the fair and is blocking others. The tractors, we can't do a fair plate without a tractor. And the one I know best, well, the one I know best is a small Kubota 1L175. Um, it's able to do in between rows of Christmas trees. Um, small and powerful. Um, <clears throat> okay, so powerful that, uh, okay, the power takeoff keeps driving it even when you're trying to stop so I um, really can't let anybody else use it you could quite easily okay kill yourself and uh, yeah I like the way the um, oh and my grandfather I, for this I looked at the um, I'm, I'm, I'm outside at the, an 8 and 9 and Ford uh, those were the tractors my grandfather was into and this is probably the only part not that you can tell that that's what this is this is the only part that where I'm really scratching open a wide surface is on the tires and so what element should we go for next on our plate maybe maybe we should look for some fun on at the fair. <laughs> the Ferris wheel. See, this is where hopefully we can put a little more fun and excitement into it. Um, I didn't think I could scratch little teeny lines like we see here for the bolts because the white slip was so deep I couldn't scratch through it without it chipping away, but I found out if I came back with the needle I could and I want to do um, little things like that in the Ferris wheel and this is something that okay I do want to get carefully drawn out so we get it just right So we get it just right. It doesn't have to be just right. Um, that you see the overall picture that your eye doesn't get caught up in the details. This is probably why in my last series of videos with the uh, Botichnitsa, the bunt like Slovenian baking pan, Oh, all the decorative part I didn't show because it is just something that takes time and this too it just takes time scratching this all away okay I want to give this a little more fun and excitement I don't think if I'd like to do more lines across here, but I think if I do any more, I'll end up chipping the white slip, so we will just do three boxes atop the seats of the carousel. Or is that the thing that goes around with the horses, uh, Ferris wheel, which I should know Pittsburgh is where okay it was invented and actually so many cities now have a giant ferris wheel Pittsburgh doesn't have one um, and this is where I found out I, I would chip away the white unless I just go and make a little round circle so we'll make a little dot in the center of each of these even if it only goes into the white slip it'll be a darker bit of the glaze and part of doing this is okay a serious artist entering a county fair is that um, this is right outside of the Pittsburgh we do attract um, a big crowd from the city and 
they might as well see that we have artists here too and craftspeople. Okay, so I'm going to continue this on each of the cars and we are going to do it around okay the frame Laurel we've got okay a modern uh, plant the idea of pollinators the echinacea here and then an old-fashioned rose um, this is a category that I've actually judged the most um, people don't understand when you're looking for flowers okay first you're supposed to have so many in a display and they should be healthy that people don't go in and pull off a couple of dead leaves and you know sometimes it's difficult because one year might be good for one plant and all the entries will look like um, winning entries and another year okay might be bad for a certain plant and all the entries will look like losers people say the judge is crazy well when it comes to picking out what is it um, all the uh, best to show things it's more about going back and you have to pick the best to show from a category and one category might not have any good entries because it was a bad year for that plant and another one might be all so vegetables that's where I have the most experience of entering them and growing them I um, onions I um, my onions have taken okay prizes in the fairs since the 70s and the secret is the secret is you got to plant them early you got to plant them in February and March when um, most people would think it's too cold even think of doing such a thing and then knowing how many they're looking for to judge and then them being all the same size not even sure what this is if it's a peach or a grape back to the farm again with our grain with our shafts of wheat I think it's um, in the okay Granges logo. Um, we missed out on any livestock in this plate. Um, I hope my friends from McElhaney's don't notice that. Uh, next year we'll have to do that. Um, um, actually, imagine this with three giant goat's heads in the center. We missed out on the monster trucks. That would have made... A, oh, wow. We could do a Picasso-like bullfight ring with monster trucks. Um, we missed out on the... Oh, homemakers. We don't have any canned goods or baked goods. So, this could be, okay, an annual event. Making... Um, commemorative Hookstown Fair Plate. Maybe this is the first of many. Um, and this part. Okay, I still want to do the yeah, rest of it. This part um, has been worrying me from the start. Um, and you know this um, the plate I kind of got some inspiration if you saw my video visit to Westmore Pottery last fall and she had some very large commemorative plates for the pottery I'd like to put a clip of that in here but she was so kind 
to let me okay take some videos there you'll have to go back to that video and you know actually I think I've done a lot of little fair clips in the past maybe I'll have to look them all up and put them in a playlist and now to finish this we'll need the sharp end I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Even if it doesn't scratch through the white, it's going to be... Oh, wow. <laughs> After struggling all along on this, yeah, I'm not completely happy with the um, scraffito technique. It's not something I'm, okay, greatly... Um, oh, um, experienced with but in a sense this is a first kind of big first major try so you've got to start somewhere if you have a fair in your community okay this would be a great if even if you're not a if you're an experienced artist you can enter okay a juried show if you're not okay try out your local your local county or town fair and now see if we can get this fired in time see if we can get a kiln opening before fair time and if we do I will say to you stop back next week and meet me at the fair